So this is a very beginner friendly solar system and it's actually the most popular solar system on my website. I have all sorts of packages, I have battery reviews, and this one for 2024 had more views than anything else I built before. And I've made lots of videos about it, but I wanna make a video just showcasing how easy it really is to build this thing. Because most people, this is all you need and you can build this in like 30 minutes. And if it's your first system, it really teaches the basics so you can build larger systems systems in the future. Now the price of batteries and solar stuff has been going down, but solar generators still cost quite a bit, especially for the batteries, but not on this system. This system is easy to expand and it has better performance than any of the other options. For example, if you were to buy an EcoFlow Delta Pro, you're going to spend a lot of money. It's like $3,700 and you can only connect 1600 watts of solar. This thing can handle 5,000 watts and the Delta Pro only has 3.7 seven kilowatt hours of battery storage. This has five kilowatt hours of battery storage. And it's almost half the price which is crazy. And it's scalable. You can add batteries or you can build it into a large stationary system. And it's mobile. So you could throw this into an RV and I've seen all sorts of people using this combination of equipment to run RVs, to run trailers, to stick it inside their closet for a hurricane or whatever you really need it for. Also, you don't even need to use it with solar. You can plug it into the wall, charge up the battery. And if the lights go out, you have something to plug your stuff into. And if something breaks, you can replace it. You don't have to use this brand or this type of battery. You can just slap any battery you want on a cart and then throw an all-in-one on top and then connect them with two cables. You just have a positive and a negative. If you can change a car battery, you can add these cables. This is very simple stuff. Now, after these are connected, you can connect some solar panels and charge this system up. So these two terminals right here are a positive and a negative. And if you connect an extension cable for MC4, you can easily connect a chain of solar panels. And this all-in-one can handle 500 volts. So as long as it's under 500 volts, you're good to go. So if the voltage open circuit of your solar panel is 40, you can connect 10 of them in series and it'll be 400 volts. That's under 500 volts, so you can safely connect it right here. Once you connect solar, it will charge up the battery through this yellow box until the battery is fully charged. And now you can actually use the power. Now, technically this is not designed to do this, but this works so good. You can take a power strip and splice it right into the load terminals of the all-in-one inverter. But you do not want to exceed about 1800 watts. You have to read on the back. This one says 1,875 watts is the limit for this. But the inverter can output 3000 watts. So if you want to use the full capacity of this inverter, you might have to add two or use an electrical panel with circuit breakers and put it on the side of this hand truck. But most people just slap a power strip and call it a day. Now to turn it on, we have to turn on the battery by turning on the circuit breaker. And then there's an on and off switch on the bottom of this yellow box. And now it's on. You can see the lights are on. So plug in an appliance. Now let's say you don't wanna use solar panels. You don't have to connect solar panels at all. You can actually buy one of these instead at the hardware store and wire it straight into the input terminals on the front of the box. And then you can plug this into a wall and it will charge up the battery automatically. Now most of my systems I take apart after I make a video, but this one I've actually used for over a year now. For HVAC equipment, for concrete equipment, for hammer drills, for welders, all sorts of stuff. This has been able to run all of it. It's cheap, it's simple, and it's the most popular one on my website. And I think I should make more videos about it. I'm trying to think of ways to modify it, and I really can't think of anything. This combination is just perfect. The output of this battery fully supports the input and output of this inverter, and there's only two wires connecting the two together. You can't get easier than this. There's two problems you can run into. If you don't put enough solar panels in the series, you will not create a voltage high enough to charge this battery or to use this inverter. So be sure to daisy chain enough solar panels to create at least 140 volts. That way you will get the best performance. And then for the maximum amount, I would try not to exceed 450 volts, especially if you live in a cold environment. And a lot of bifacial panels that people are using are rated for 40 volt open circuit. So again, if you can put 10 panels together on the ground and daisy chain them and then connect them right here, you will have a very powerful system. Also, if you need USB chargers, you can connect them right here. 
But if you want to be super efficient and use this battery, you can buy a 48 volt to 12 volt converter and run things in RVs, USB chargers, or 12 volt air conditioners, 12 volt refrigerators. You can do it all with this system. Another problem you might encounter is if it overheats because you put it into a limited space and there's not much airflow, like an RV closet, for example. This inverter has an air intake and it has an exhaust and you need to ensure that it can breathe so it can cool itself down. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to really cover with this system. You just slap this thing on a hand truck and you throw a battery underneath. An EG4 is the most popular, but you can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Another option is to charge this at night when the electricity is very cheap. Like if you live in San Diego where the electricity during the peak rate is like over 50 cents per kilowatt hour. But if you charge at night or the early morning, it's pennies per kilowatt hour. So you can actually connect the AC input to a Wi-Fi switch, program it to turn on only in the early morning when electricity is cheap, and that will charge up the battery. And then you can run a 120 volt mini split or whatever you want. You could even run an EV charger. You could charge a Tesla with this system with the electricity that you stored at night or just solar or add more batteries or make a bigger system. It's very easy to do. And this could be life changing. If there's a major event or something that happens, having this to run your refrigerator with a couple of solar panels that you hide away in a closet somewhere is just so easy to do. Or you could build it for other people. If you have a family member and they have hurricanes, you can easily throw this in their closet and they'll be way better off with just this. Now, if you build this and it doesn't work, please post it on the forum. Myself and others can help you. And because the system is so simple, you could just take a picture of it and we'll find the problem in a matter of seconds. Also, if you have a better one, post a video. I want to see what you guys build. If you have a larger battery that's easier to fit on a hand truck or a better deal for an all-in-one, please share it down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick video on a super simple system for beginners. Um, I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.